Hey guys, welcome to part 3 of the RPG Combat Tutorial Series. And this one we're going to be talking a little bit about defense and armor and how to calculate all those stats into our code that we have so far. So, for this case, why we're using two different sets such as armor and defense, uh, most of the time people think, oh, I can just have armor and I can just, you know, reduce that from the damage that I take. But most of the time it's a little more complex than that since most RPGs have very high stats. So if you have something like a couple thousand armor, you do not want that to be a couple thousand percent or subtracted from uh, the damage that you've been taking. You usually want to divide that by something in order to um, add that to your other stats. So in this case, we're going to be taking our armor and applying it to our defense and a little bit to our dodge. And we're going to be dividing that too. So I already went and pre-coded this since I had to do a little bit of thinking about this one, but I will go through and tell you exactly what I did to achieve what I got. And another good thing about this is you can calculate the stats differently. So in the case that you use something like a potion that increases your uh, defense for let's say 30 seconds, it'll apply to that stat and it'll adjust the damage that you're taking for that amount of time and then remove it. So it's a little bit more easy to calculate because we're always updating that. And that's the best way of going and doing that. Um, so we'll go through here real quick. I made a little comment here for player stats because we're going to be going through and creating both stats, not starts, <laughs> stats for our armor and weapons. And that'll be something like um, attack speed and whatnot and all this other stuff. Yeah, armor and different resistances and stuff. And we're going to want to calculate that all under our player stats. So usually on items, there might be something like four or five different variables that we have on there. But if you go and check on your player, there's sometimes 10 plus stats where these ones are plugged into multiple areas of your character. So maybe sometimes armor will also increase your health, depending on how much you have but it will only increase it by a little bit, maybe a couple percent or a couple points, depending on what level you are. So that's the reasoning behind creating different stats like this. So for our armor, we're going to be adding to these two, but we're going to be calculating different stats for each one. So down here, um, I'm doing defense equals armor divided by 30. So depending on what number our armor is at. So let's say we had a thousand and we decided to divide it by 10, we'd still have a hundred, which would be a little bit too high of defense, I would think. Well, it really depends on the level. So I guess I'll leave it up to you guys to calculate it how you want it. Right now, it's, I don't have it where I can actually balance it depending on what class and what enemy you're fighting and whatnot. But for now, I'm just showing you guys how to set up these certain stats. So I threw this into our update function just so we can update it all the time. If, like I said before, if I use a potion to increase my armor, I want it to apply to all my different stats. And I want to calculate it that way because I want to divide this. Um, that's the only reason why I made it different. And so we'll go down here. And I also created a new variable for dodge percent final. That's because I want to add dodge percent to my defense. And since my defense is being calculated to be lower, it's going to be a very low dodge percent. For the most time, you want to use floats because uh, when you're adding this up, you do want decimals. So maybe sometimes uh, when you equip an item, you only get 0.5 increase to your dodge. And I mean, it's not enough to roll over yet, but once you start upgrading your items, it'll roll over to the next uh, decimal and uh, you can upgrade it that way. Instead of using whole numbers, um, when you get those really, really high stats, um, it'll roll way over the actual percent that you want. So you don't want to have 100% dodge. You'd rather have something like 15.2% or something like that. And in that case, you wouldn't be able to have too many items in your game either for that fact. So it's a lot better to use floats and use decimals for all that. So this is how we're going to be calculating it. And then I change this variable to dodge final percent. So this is pretty much just a temporary variable that gets plugged into there. So if these stats change at any time, they'll be updated when we go in there. And then I just did 
dodge percent final just to check on what percent we have. And let's see here. So in my damage, um, this is where we're going to be doing the damage reduction depending on your defense. Now I didn't get too fancy with this. It's a simple minus defense, but yeah. So I did a debug.log damage.damage, .damage, so the original damage that we took. And then I did a variable deal damage. This is just another tempor temporary variable for dealing damage to the uh, player. And that's just damage.damage, .damage, so the original damage minus our defense that we currently have. And that's our damage reduction right there. So if I had higher defense, I'd be taking less damage from the attack. And so I just did a debug.log for deal damage. This, this way we can see the change in the damage. And then you'd want to have a final one that's actually dealing the damage to the player. And so we just have that for right now. I won't worry about the spell right now, the spell resist. Um, it'll be calculated similar to the dodge and all that. Um, just a little bit different tweaks, so we won't go over that in this tutorial. And that's pretty much all the stats that you need to set up. And then we need to jump on our main camera where the script is and change that. So I set my armor pretty low, 60. This would probably be very, very low level. Um, I believe it only increases my percent by, or my, uh, what is it, dodge percent by 2. So instead of being 90, this will add 2 to it. I can go show you guys real quick. So if we hit T, melee 92. So our original one was supposed to be 90, but it, because of the defense, it got added to 92. And we deal damage. And you can see here that it did 16 damage originally. And because of our defense, that was two points. We reduced it. And now for the dodge, we could also, if you really wanted to, um, if you want to actually make that lower than what the uh, this is set to right here, you could actually, let's see here, dodge percent final. You could actually create another. Um, actually, we could just calculate in here if we really wanted to. If you wanted to take that and divide it by two or something simple like that. Um, you can do it that way. That way um, you get a lower percent added to your dodge percent. And I guess you might want that if you're dealing with really high numbers and your defense, um, that could just remain the same. That's so the numbers are different. They're not both just adding two. This would probably, I'm guessing, add one now. So yeah, now it's only dealing, or we only have 91% dodge. So if we wanted to go crazy with this and did like, we have a character with like 2000 armor, something really high, we can see how they can get really overpowered. You have over 100% dodge. That means you will always dodge. So no matter how many times I spam this, we are never going to take damage. So that's why you want to calculate that all out correctly. Um, so even divided by 2, so maybe we want to divide that by 10. And like I said, if it's just decimals, it doesn't really matter. When you get higher up, it's still pretty high at 96. But yeah, you kind of get the idea for adjusting all that. And this really comes down to just a balancing issue. Um, so if you're taking too much damage, too less damage, I would definitely do the start dodge percent, something low. Like depending on which class you pick or race, maybe certain races have higher dodge percent or something. Something like that. But if it was lower at 10, it would be a little bit better to calculate that. And you see that our... Um, the damage when we're dealt it is going negative, which is something we don't want. So, um, yeah, but that's going to happen anyways. It's going to always display that because if a month, if you only have a thousand H HP and a monster deals like ten thousand damage to you, it's going to go negative no matter what. Um, but as long as your health equals to zero when it hits zero or goes less than zero, it should be fine. It shouldn't display a negative. Um, but yeah, 
So hopefully in future tutorials um, we can finish calculating the spell resist and we can add in a couple more of these stats here um, for other calculations and we can also calculate in if the player is facing or not facing and we can um, activate the dodge if they're facing the enemy and if they're facing away um, automatically just deal damage to them and calculate all those things out. So this tutorial was pretty basic. Um, hopefully we'll get into some more advanced stuff. I was just showing you guys how to set that up in order to complete the future tutorials. We'll be adding in a lot more stats and yeah, stay tuned guys. Later.